Live Rude Girls, recapping The Real L Word Season 3, and today I have the rudest girl that I've ever known with me, Julie, my wife. Hello. So, Julie, let's start out with a question that I've asked other people before, which is, um, what is your favorite Real L Word personality, past or present? You have to speak up. My favorite personality, past or present? Um... That's hard because I have a hard time remembering who's on seasons past. Unless they've carried through all the seasons, I can't. So analytical. Think what back. is the favorite so one? So on this, I'll just say with this season. Um, I don't know. I guess I really like. I like them all for different reasons. Okay. I think I relate more with. Strangely, um, with Whitney and Sada. Mm -hmm. Just because I went through similar... Because you're um, so in love with your partner? Right. No, because we, we got married <laughs> no, last year, so we had that whole um, experience of proposing to our pair, or proposing, not proposing, but a, sharing the news of our newly engaged selves with our parents and just kind of anticipating those conversations and being somewhat let down when you heard the response or, you know, just kind of working through that. But relate with them the most. Yeah, that makes sense. Good job, babe. So uh, we're going to talk about this le this most recent episode, which was the first Dinah episode. It was like Dinah part one, part two airs this week. And um, I think that the first thing we should talk about is how Kelsey and Romy rolled up kind of late and sort of demanded that their room be paid for it, that they couldn't put down a credit card for $200 worth of incidentals. And I thought that Romy was being kind of rude, actually. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm... Trish will complain about the fact that I'm typically late for things. Yes. Um, but usually it's on non-professional things, like my job I'm not usually late for, and interviews, important professional things like that I would be on time for. Um, not anything that I want to be on time for, so I'm yeah. taking this from. Rude! <laughs> Anyways, I mean, I'm don't you think that she could have just, like, seriously slapped on a credit card and been like, you know what, I'll come back later, worry about this later, or, like, was it Yeah, really I mean, because it's deal? not like they take the money and they don't give it back. It's more of just a hold in case somebody raids the mini bar. Yeah, and then she, I mean... Which they wouldn't do, because they're so... Exactly. But See? you never know who's getting in the room. I guess you never know. But they kind of played it safe the whole Dinah. They really just try to stay away from everybody. And um, But they couldn't get away from Whitney, Sada, um, and Lauren and Amanda when they went to the event that they were doing the, the dating. Why did Romy and Kelsey sign up to be dating people when they are together? Isn't that kind of unfair to the people that sign up? Maybe there wasn't any other offer given them. Maybe it was like sign up for this dating game and go for free or don't come. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they were like, well, I guess we'll participate in the dating game. I mean, the one thing that I thought was kind of strange about this, and I'm not sure if they took the editing out of sequence or whatnot, like how far in advance, like, Romy and Kelsey got together, but it did seem kind of strange to me that Kelsey and Romy just got back together right before Dinah. Like, Romy dumped a guy just in time to be a lesbian again or be with a woman again because she's, you know, I just thought it was kind of strange. Yeah, I thought that too after I watched it. It was kind of thinking it might have been due to, to, to editing and they can maybe cut out a few weeks but breaks up with what's his name Dang. and it's like the next episode she's moving in with Kelsey and yeah I think if I was Kelsey I would feel a little bit insecure about that I would think so too but maybe so. there's months between those well we'll give you shows. the benefit of the doubt so it was a little bit awkward when everybody was in the same room together but I feel like Whitney and Sada were pretty professional about things but Lauren on the other hand seemed like that she really wanted just she wanted to get Romy, like, where she could, and she signed up for the dating yeah. game. And um, so, I mean, that's something I have to say that, like, is a girl thing I would do. If there was somebody there that I wanted to piss off, I'd probably do it. Probably would. You wouldn't. No. You would be, like, in the corner, like, I don't even want to be here. I did take uh, Julie to dine with me a couple years ago, and she literally just went for the golf. I really golfed. She really did. And I, I did some golf. great people. She did. It was really fun. Well, I'm glad. I mean, she doesn't care about any of the things, which is one thing, one point I want to make, too, is you can go to Dinah and not just get trashed out of your mind and, like, end up in the ER. Like, you can go and have a good time and not, like, make alcohol the whole point. And you also don't have to be the Romy and Kelsey where you just show up and, like, hang out in your room the whole time. Like, you can still have a good time and do other activities. And I just want people to know that when you see it on The Real L Word, it's not seriously just bikinis and dancing and booze. Like, there, there are fun events that you can do and things that you can participate in with friends and meet new people. It's just, like, a big time to meet, like, other lesbians and just, like, hang out together. It's, it's not all of the party atmosphere that you see.
Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Thank you. So um, I think the other thing that was the big part of this uh, episode was Kiyomi and Lauren hooking up. Now you told me earlier when I asked you about this that you like them together. Now tell me why. I think uh, Kiyomi sort of explained it in the end of the episode or maybe, no, maybe you didn't, you didn't interview with her and I read it. You did. And she, <laughs> she explained that episode, she just saw more of her like happy, fun self and like I think the interview or the um, episodes before that where she was sort of stressed out and on the road and on tour and just not kind of like losing it. I don't know if this episode um, she was more happy because of Lauren or just because she wasn't touring anymore or what, what the deal was. But if it's Lauren that's making her that happy, I think that's cute and that's great. I thought it was really funny how Lauren or um, Amanda was throwing shade like the whole time. Like Amanda's she was like given the side of the camera and she'll be like, like I don't know. I just felt like that was like not really a best friend thing to be for Lauren. I felt like she was throwing shade the whole time and that I don't necessarily think that she has positive motivations. Nope. I think Amanda's a shade. So I think that Lauren and Kiyomi are real cute together, but I also, and I understand where Lauren should be a little trepidatious going into it because Kiyomi is sort of in a relationship. But at the same time, you don't need like somebody that's like, well, I don't even think she's cute. Like that doesn't help anything. Like that doesn't make your friend not want to be with somebody that only pushes them further away. So I just think that was some, some shade going, getting thrown. It's pretty superficial. Yes, I agree. So this week we'll find out part two of Dinah, see what happens. It's, I'm sure, just as scandalous slash not as scandalous with a little bit more Casey and Corey who are not very scandalous and Romy and Kelsey um, being, you know, less scandalous because they are not the ones drinking themselves into a stupor. So thank you so much to my guest, Julie Freeberg.